At home on every rural road, Hyundai Country Calendar. Our passion for farming truly did come from mum. Ben and George are unique. Yep. With organic products, it's what you're not paying for that really counts. They run the only commercial-scale organic chicken farm in the country. The chickens can get lost or pay hide-and-seek with other, other mates. <laughs> I'm very proud of my boys. It's been a, a very steep learning curve. But it's still a family affair. I always knew that I was going to be coming back to Hawke's Bay doing something in the agricultural sector. Researching growing organic chickens, it led me to go over to France and see how they do the La Barouge Poulet, which are world famous for their taste. When Ben Bostock decided to raise chickens, he wanted his birds to compete with the best. Five years later, he's on track to succeed. His organic, free-range chickens have an enviable lifestyle. By giving them a, a decent amount of space, they can move around and dust bath and go and explore under the trees. There's a whole life for them outside here. Ben and his brother George have created their chicken farm on one of their parents' organic apple orchards near Hastings in Hawke's Bay. We took out three rows every 60 and slid in one of the chalets that we bought from France. From this, the birds can range out and each shed has about a hectare of apple orchard for them to roam around. The birds may look a little hen-pecked, but Ben says they're not. The chickens haven't actually lost any feathers. The only breed that we can use in New Zealand is the white meat-producing bird. They've been bred over hundreds of years to actually not produce too many pin feathers for cheaper plucking. With values inherited from his organic orchardist parents, Ben was never going to farm chickens conventionally. I went and visited a free-range farm and I saw that the scale that they had with 40,000 chickens in a shed, there was no way that mum and dad were going to let me do that on the farm out the back doorstep. With organics in our blood, I looked at the organic standard and what people were doing overseas and I saw that that could really fit with what we do here in Hawke's Bay small-scale micro-flocks that we're happy to show the world. To meet the standard, each shed has one hectare of space, and so that's about 10,000 square metres. So the chickens can really go out. If they go right out, they can even get lost or pay hide-and-seek with other, other mates. <laughs> Bostock Chickens is part of a much bigger family enterprise. Ben's father, John Bostock, has turned a single orchard into a multi-million dollar operation, growing organic apples, kiwi fruit, squash and onions all over Hawke's Bay and exporting them all over the world. Yes, so bloody good, eh? Ben set up the chicken business five years ago and three years later, brother George joined him. They say sharing the role of boss works just fine. Bit of push and shove. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it works really well. We both communicate together with the managers. I might be doing a bit more operational side and George will be doing sales or we might swap round and it works really well having two of us. Fantastic. Yeah, that block's looking amazing, isn't it? Ben's probably got a bigger job, given that he has to manage all the people at the plant and I'm sort of free to wander off and, and try and find new ways to, um, new customers and new ways to, to uh, sell the chicken, which is, which is great. John Bostock is a successful entrepreneur in his own right, but he's let the boys make their own way. He's completely hands-off. Any problems that we might have, he just doesn't want to know about it. So it's quite good in a way, but... Uh, Except when he rings up and asks for some chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always after free chicken. <laughs> Once a week, this truck arrives from Auckland with a precious cargo. Several thousand day-old chicks. So all the chickens that were hatched this morning from our hatchery and trucked down here and we, br we bring them out and their first feed that they eat is our organic maize. We're brooding them, much like a, a hen would 
for the first seven days. And then once they've got enough feathers so they can survive the elements, the pop holes are permanently raised and the curtains are lowered for the chicks to range and run around the orchard. These birds are being raised for their meat and are very different from egg producers. Egg chickens are the brown shavers or the high lines, and we don't have any of those, but those birds have been bred over the years to lay as many eggs in a year as possible. Owls are the meat table bird and they haven't been bred to lay eggs and if we were to try and use these for, for egg layers, we'd probably get one every 10 days. Walking through these balls of fluff is a tricky business. Ben and his wife Nikki have started their own brood. Young Archie's not yet free ranging, but he does appreciate soft toys. What do you reckon, Archie? They're about five hours old and they're just getting themselves settled down to have a look for their first feed and, and water. Over the next week, they'll start growing feathers on their wings, and then a week after that, they'll have enough feathers so we can let them out of their nest and let them into the rest of the shed and then to range outside. Ben has had to explain to people the differences between the free range label and the organic label. We're the only commercial scale organic free range chicken farm in New Zealand in a way that can make it quite tough because we have to try and educate our consumers that, uh, that you know, there is something better than the factory free range. Organic free range is completely different to your normal free range. In normal free range there's millions of birds being produced each week and there is no limit to the flock size so there's nothing will stop 41,000 chickens in a shed and still meeting the definitions of the New Zealand welfare code. The only thing is, is that they have to have a pop hole for the chickens to look out. A lot of people that we engage with day to day and they're shocked to find that these large scale chicken farms are, are passing as free range. Ben's chickens have space and the freedom to wander. And unlike most other commercially produced chickens, they have a diet free of antibiotics. The reason antibiotics are used in the industry is for growth promotion. Antibiotics shorten the time it takes a bird to reach three kilos. We've had this discussion with our nutritionist. He tells us that the antibiotics are all sold with performance-based stats, an increased growth rate, or you buy this antibiotic and you get a better feed conversion rate. I really believe that it's um, been developed for performance of and, and for profit rather than for um, true health of the bird. Unlike most commercial chicken farmers, Ben deliberately slows down his bird's growth. The advantages to slowing the rate of the growth of the bird is that the meat has more texture, it's a darker meat. The organic standard means that everything the chickens eat must be organic. Part of the operation is growing the feed for the chickens and here we have 30 hectares on this farm here and it's all certified organic maize and certified organic means that we can't use any pesticides, herbicides or compound fertilisers. So this is where our very own chicken manure comes into play. But Ben and George's chicken farm is just a part of a much bigger family business. Bay is home to the Bostock family. Sons Ben and George are part of the business that their father John started. Their brother Tom is oh, away no. studying viticulture. <laughs> John Bostock started out growing apples conventionally, but he credits the boy's mother Vicky, who died in 2015 after a battle with cancer, as the one who set him off down the organic path. Yes. My late wife and I wanted our three young boys and the whole family to grow up in a safe, healthy, clean environment. And she didn't want any agrochemicals around the house or anywhere near the family. One day she said, uh, no more sprays around here. And I said, yep, okay, well, we'll get into it. And that's how it all started. Vicky's love of the land and her principles had a big influence on her boys growing up. Oh, well done. 
she was huge. She had such an enormous passion for the outdoors. And we were always out on farms and out on the land. And our passion for farming truly did come from mum. I think that her values that she left me were to treat everyone in your day-to-day -day life properly. It was her influence why we got into organic chickens, which was quite logical for us. <laughs> when John started his journey towards organics in 1996, he was greeted with scepticism. All my friends and neighbours thought we were quite mad. They thought we'd turn into mung bean eating sandal wearing hippies. It took a long time. Firstly, it takes three years to turn organic, but we had to solve a lot of pest issues and problems with producing a clean apple in an organic certification. We experimented, we went overseas, we studied what was happening in Europe, and I have to say plant and food were fantastic, doing research on various pests and pathogens to try and help us get a clean organic apple. And today, an organic apple is cosmetically as clean as a conventional apple. How's it going? Good, good. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> John has a clear philosophy to guide his company's growth. It's a holistic view. We really want to be socially sustainable. We want to be financially sustainable and environmentally sustainable. And if we've got all three, we can call ourselves successful. John's drive to be financially sustainable has been remarkably successful. He's grown his company to the point where it has an annual turnover of $120 million. They have a staff of 600 and export to over 20 countries in Europe, the Middle East, Asia and North America. Ben reckons his dad's success comes down to one quality. It's been a lot of sheer determination. I can remember when I was really small, he'd come back super late at night, totally stressed out that you know, maybe the markets overseas have crashed or there's been a problem at harvest or something and we've seen over the years that by never giving in he's managed to get on top. Well I think you have to be persistent and I think you've got to really believe in what you're doing. We've had some hard times over the years and by sticking at it and staying true to the philosophy we've been able to break through. It's great but it's still a family affair and I like to get to know the team and work with them. It's a larger business, but it's still got a family feel. Yeah. Over 150 people work two shifts a day in the Apple Packhouse. It's a high-tech operation. Scale is important. You've got to be able to get your costs down and service your customers. I mean, many customers won't talk to you unless you can do the whole program. But at the same time, you want the family feel and you want to be able to keep in contact with everyone. Organics is no longer a niche market. Today it's certainly turning much more mainstream. Especially in the United States, the market has absolutely exploded. In America, it's fully mainstream, and some retailers are taking as much as 50% all organic. Customers are seeing the value in it, and I think there's a, a great movement around the world. People want to know where their foods come from, that it's safe and healthy, and it's been grown ethically, and the full chain they can understand. I've got to say that in New Zealand we've been a bit slow on organics and it's something we can catch up on. John's commitment to social sustainability means paying the living wage. It also means providing healthy food for his staff. The Bostock Cafeteria has its own chef producing subsidised organic meals. My late wife and I used to see the lunches our people used to eat. And that was pies and chippies and fizzy drinks and it was absolutely disgusting. And yet at the same time, we were producing all this beautiful organic food. So we wanted to live the dream and have our team start to engage with healthy organic food. And it doesn't have to cost the earth. And it can be tasty and enjoyable. And it's been a huge success. When John decided to diversify from apples, he chose squash. We started about 30 years ago. We were one of the first into it, and it was a little market for entrepreneurs to get into. 
it wasn't mainstream and uh, we just roared into it. It's all exported, pretty well all. New Zealand market's tiny. Japanese eat about 500 tonnes every day. The Japanese eat the squash with the skin on and they'll often use it in a tempura or just steam it or make a soup or bake it. Environmental sustainability is central to John's farm management. In practice, it's things like looking after the soil. And that means encouraging the soil to keep its fibre and its organic matter. Doing things such as not working in the wet, keeping powered implements away from it, and rotating the crops. I'm very proud of what we've achieved, but uh, also I'm very proud of my boys who've gone out and thought of an idea and seen a hole in the market and producing these organic free-range chickens. And with the well-being of their chickens in mind, Ben and George are dragging chicken farming into the future. Today is house moving day on the Bostock's Hawke's Bay chicken farm. These are the mobile shedding systems where we move the sheds to rotate the grazing pasture for the chickens. Yep. We set these up before we built the sheds in the apple orchard and this is a fantastic way to rotate the grazing area for the chickens. The mobile sheds here have three site allocations where it can go and we rotate the shed to rotate the grazing for the chickens and also it gives the ground time to replenish and sterilise itself ready for the next chickens. So there's 180 days between each flock of chickens being brought up on that particular site. Perfect. Ready for the next lot. The next time that the chalet moves back over to that position, the grass has had time and it's, and it's luscious and green again. We imported these sheds from France and they're a common organic setup in France. The chook houses came as flat pack kit sets. They're really neat, they're almost like sleds. They're completely movable, and so yeah, we, we fell in love with the design. Each shed has feeding systems for grain available inside the shed for the chickens, and water, of course, and it's all solar powered, so we don't have to hook it up to the main grid. When the next batch of day-old chicks arrive, they'll be on a fresh bed of wood shavings. The wood shavings are supplied to us by our very supportive local sawmill. They're wood shavings from untreated wood. They're beautiful and dry, and it creates the perfect bedding for the chickens inside the shed. After we move the mobile shed, we will then collect the wood shavings and take them to a composting site where we'll break the manure down and it will turn into a beautiful, rich compost that we put on our own paddocks, which we then grow organic grains to feed back to the chickens. Every time we harvest a crop of maize, we take a lot of nutrients out of the soil, and because we can't use compound fertilisers, our method of replenishing the nutrients is by using our chicken manure. It's a fantastic circle of life where the chickens have produced the manure which has then fed the maize. The maize has grown up a year later which has been fed back to the chickens. This state-of-the-art processing plant has only been finished recently. It's specially designed to organic standards. The main difference is with organic we don't use chlorine to sanitise the birds. Chlorine is known to attach itself to the fats in the bird and chlorinamines, which is the reason that the organic standard has prohibited chlorine. The other main difference is the chickens are air chilled, not water chilled, so the meat doesn't absorb lots of water. So all the chicken that we're sending out today is going to customers all over the country. We don't use a distributor, we ship direct to stores and restaurants ourselves and that's really efficient. Ben and George are also developing an export market. We are exporting to Philippines, Hong Kong and Tahiti. Tahiti is for the uh, tourist and food service trade. Hong Kong is getting more and more organic focused and the Philippines is a huge population of about 110 million people so there's a small percentage like organic chicken from New Zealand. 
The Bostocks are doing their bit to reduce the mountain of waste plastic. We're really excited about our packaging. We're developing a new plant-based packaging. It's made entirely from maize, entirely compostable. So yeah, we're looking forward to, in the next few months, going entirely plastic free. We're selling into a lot of supermarkets and we do a lot of top end restaurants as well and, and the restaurants have been fantastic. Pushing our name out there. Often they'll write our name on the menu, which is a fantastic way to get the name out. Hi Seven, how are you? Great, thank you. Thanks. 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 And Thanks. yeah, we've Thanks. been doing a lot of food shows all over the country and we're sort of just beginning to hit that critical mass where people are beginning to recognise our brand. I spend a good couple of days every couple of weeks driving around the country and catching up with all the supermarkets. And we do so many tastings and it's great being the owner selling the chicken rather than, rather than a, a tastings rep. So when we engage with people, people really understand that we've got a passion for organic chicken. So I eat yeah. it all the time. Oh, do you? Fantastic. Beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah, it's just about cooking as good as me. <laughs> oh, I'm sure not quite as good as you. And we grow the birds a lot slower, so the meat has a lot more time to form. Yeah. This is certified organic free round chicken, so it's been grown naturally without any antibiotics or hormones. I wouldn't say I'm a particularly natural salesman, but I love our chicken and I love what we do. So it's really quite an easy, it's quite an easy thing to sell when, when you're so passionate about it. You don't have to persuade me to buy it. Oh, it I'm so already good. converted. Yeah. It's five years since Bostock Organic Chickens was just a twinkle in Ben's eye. The dream for me personally at the moment is taking a holiday but for the business is to improve the quality so it can be New Zealand's best chicken. Next time, the family using their cropping know-how to pioneer a new industry. Well, the kids love it.